this project was uh, introduced in 2004. It was August. I had nothing to do. It was an uh, oil project, it's called. Online, but, well, but the name is weird. Oil project, you would think about, uh, you know, Exxon, Exxon Mobil. <laughs> But oil, uh, it would be like gasoline, it's like fuel, and it's knowledge, basically. It seems to be the remotest thing you can think about because we're, there's no money involved. Oil stand, used to stand for uh, open uh, informatic lessons. I was not really too good with my English when I was 14. Informatic does not exist, and someone pointed that out to me. But it was too late at that point. And so we have replaced this uh, I with interactive, uh, open interactive uh, learning. So uh, talking with other peers, we thought that uh, a place where a 14 year old kid could learn how to develop a website or share its IT knowledge did not really exist. And nothing really uh, online, but just texts. Or, But one of the nicest things that uh, the internet can provide is interaction on a real-time basis. So we started organizing, let's say, a uh, group, a set of lessons and uh, lectures. We were all very young. Each one knew a little bit. And uh, the lectures were in chat form. So uh, the best uh, teacher was the one who used to write faster than anybody else. Well, myself, actually. We were 14. And it was HTML lectures, uh, web development, uh, there was a hacking course, uh, and I was happy uh, really to hear the comments made on the hackers. This gave rise to a lot of disputes. Uh, we have renamed this uh, IT security because when people heard the word hacking, they were all scared. So when, everyone, when anyone learned something about anything, we would write it down. And uh, basically, we were a little bit revolutionary in, uh, in our, uh, basically, in our manifesto. We're saying we're tired of living in a country where you, where you cannot learn anything. And we come, came up with something where people can learn. Do you confirm this? Are you still tired in a country where you cannot learn anything? No, I'm not really tired. Well, things have been better. But the school system is not really better than it used to be. Uh, well, but our project is better. We try to change, and uh, we started also uh, vocal uh, lectures and then uh, video lectures, major change. Another turning point happened last month because we do not just talk about IT anymore, but we talk about innovation in general. The teachers are not just 14-year-old uh, kids. Uh, they are professional uh, trainers or um, university professors. What is uh, our purpose here? The idea is that anyone who has an hour that they can share with other people to say something, well, few people do that actually. But we coordinate all this because we have uh, basically um, a number a program or a, a curriculum of lectures, and we publish this. And uh, people usually, because of the way the podcast is structured, they do not really follow online. They do it later. But the live session is the the best thing, re really, because at 9 o'clock in the evening, we follow the lectures, and the tutor replies to the questions that uh, the students uh, then put forward in, in, the, in the chat session. And actually, the student of a lecture might be the tutor of the following uh, set of lectures. So uh, these are interchangeable roles. So we have, uh, we're still faithful to the initial spirit of the initiative. And the project uh, was uh, very well received, uh, maybe because it's for free, who knows. But now we have 9,000 uh, registered members. A lot of people, but how? Do you have also academic ears, uh, or is just the 9,000 registered members who attend a limited number of courses? Uh, well, they're updated on the courses that we provide, but then in the virtual classroom, we don't have 9,000 people, otherwise a server would go bust. And yesterday, Quintarelli managed to reply to 40 questions, but that's really as, as far as we can go. And the lectures all last for two hours. And uh, one of the most concrete results from this project is that every month there are 40,000 hours of training, which basically uh, are provided uh, for, from, from nothing. It's all on the web. There is no money involved. Uh, and this is very important. There is a content which potentially is there. People have things that they would like to share with other people. And as is the case with Wikipedia, other better known examples with a simple platform, if you think about the web interface, you can express uh, whatever you want to say. Are there any examples outside of Italy or projects like yours? 
Yes, peer-to-peer -peer university, I heard, in the United States. Uh, anyhow, the major difference is uh, uh, teaching for free. Either you do it live or you, you, you don't do it live, online or, or offline. We like it online. But when you say us, we, uh, how many people are involved in this project when you say we or us? Well, the aficionados and the staff, we are uh, eight uh, people taking care of the mailing list, too. I am in charge of most of the organization, however. But then there are 40 tutors who, uh, taking turns, uh, they teach courses. Uh, right now, there are 15 lectures uh, in this uh, part of the academic area will be completed in December, and which are the most popular courses? The most popular courses. Uh, this uh, section uh, dedicated to innovation, uh, there are four disciplines. Uh, they talk about current affairs and, and, and politics, uh, history of ideas, and then uh, also labor law in uh, China uh, or Greek literature, uh, Hippocrates. Perhaps this is the weirdest subject I can think about, but it seems to have nothing to do with everything else. But we believe uh, in the, this cross-sectoral uh, aspect of the paradigm of innovation. Otherwise, if you just if you just pay lip service to innovation, it doesn't mean anything. But when the user sees uh, the politics and current affairs lecture, the, the lecture on China, a little bit of history, and then it's, it's a traditional subject such as the internet and, and, and networks in general. So we hope that the users will realize that everything uh, can, well, and you don't have a, any degree, you don't, you don't hand out any degree. No, it's not really a university. There are very few lectures, only one in the evening, 40 per year, I believe, uh, all in all. But this model works. If anyone uh, would like to invest money and we had more resources, uh, probably we could offer more courses already at the beginning. Uh, SMAU, SMAU, was interested in sponsoring uh, the, uh, this event in 2005, the most famous uh, IT and computer science exhibit in this country. But in 05, we were all 15 years old, and uh, we did not really introduce ourselves too effectively. Uh, they asked us to provide a business plan. And, well, Mr. Dettori, he's sitting in the audience. He's very good at business plans, and he can help you out. It seems as if it's not really that difficult uh, to draw up a business plan. Well, we showed up with the, basically a sheet of paper, and uh, under the heading uh, uh, Human Resources, we have listed a number of nicknames, and they started reading uh, Madero, uh, 020, and said, ah, you're all crazy. But at, at the end of the day, why are you doing all this? The first reason is, uh, well, it, it's fun. Uh, this is the reason why we're all doing this, I think. Having said this, Having said this, well, we believe in this activity, sh this free knowledge sharing, and this uh, dynamics provided by the web. You feel to be peer-to-peer, -peer, but not in the technical sense, like a communication between two clients with other server, but in the emotional sense of the word. Uh, following a class with somebody else who asks questions with me and uh, a person I know that I will teach to tomorrow, this peer-to-peer -peer kind of feel, I believe is uh, one of the most uh, meaningful things that the web can provide, and it's very important. And next to the project, or actually thanks to Oil Project, uh, together with uh, our um, academic activity. Well, we work together with two companies, uh, Liquida.it and an Austrian company. And Liquida uh, usually is a blog provider. Uh, well, for many tutors, it's also a kind of showcase for them. And uh, tutors like this, uh, usually after the class, they call me at 10 o'clock in the evening and they ask me, how did it go? Uh, they, they, uh, it's fun for them, too. And would you like to become the Minister for Education in this country, maybe in uh, 10, 20 years, and fix our school system? What a naughty question. Well, we have to work hard and study a lot first. Say no. It's easier. Just say no. Just stick to your project. Uh, develop uh, this oil project. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe 20 years down the road, the Minister for Education will do everything online. Who knows?